Let's compare the different ways that you can use a flash. Today we're looking at using a flash dome, a flash universal diffuser, and just using your plain old flash. First things first, these are going to be self-portraits, so I have to set up my handy dandy tripod, which honestly never gets easier. It's so confusing to set up, and I cannot give you a tutorial because I honestly don't know how to. First, we're using just my flash and pointing it directly forward, and I have my flash in TTL mode. Here is the raw photo, and here is the edited, and obviously I had to check to make sure the photo actually hit focus. Next, we're taking the plain old flash and just bouncing it off the ceiling. Nothing fancy. Here we have the raw photo and the edited version. Now things are getting interesting we're going to use that dome and point it directly forward. If I'm being honest, the light is dispersed a little bit more, but it looks kind of the same as the previous one. Using the dome, we're going to bounce the flash off the ceiling and we get a nice soft result. Don't worry, at the end, I'm going to compare every single photo consecutively so you can see the difference. Now using the universal diffuser, I'm just going to point it directly at the ceiling. This one definitely casts more of a shadow than the previous bouncing ones. And for a bounce, that light was strong. Now we're going to test out using the universal diffuser directly forward. And honestly, the light wasn't as bright as I was expecting. Let's compare. Here are the three results using bounce flash. Here are the three results using direct flash for this shoot.